Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. All right, guys, new History Matters video. You already know I'm going to react to it. Oh, get this. Ah. Okay. Why did the U.S. join World War I? If you're new to the channel, hello, my name is Connor. This is like my 12th, not exaggerating, like 12th video of the day. I just feel like making them. Did I say... My name's Connor, if you're new. I like to learn about history through YouTube recommendations. Original link to the video, top of the description below, right below that. Link to the Discord. Click on it. If you love to learn about history, talk about history, just chill. Love to have you. Pull up a chair, my friend. Hope you all are doing well. If not, that sucks, but you'll be good soon. I guess that means if you're good, though, then that's great, but you'll be bad soon, so... I Maybe that's not the greatest wisdom statement. All right, off track, ADD. Let's go. For the first three years of World War I, the United States did very little. Its position towards the Great War was one of annoyed neutrality, and whilst it was seen as a problem, it was not seen as America's problem. Yet despite the war not directly affecting the... God, thank you for relatively weak neighbors and the two largest oceans on the planet on either side the atlantic is bigger than the indian ocean right it, it is it definitely is all right let's go the u.s woodrow wilson declared war on germany in april of 1917 and joined the side of the entente but given how easy it would have been for the u.s to sit it out this raises an obvious question why did the united states join world war one to begin when the great war broke out I don't know. In Europe, the US's response was, oh good, another one. Because to many American politicians and the American public at large, Europeans were always fighting over something. Often over silly things like royal titles, tiny strips of land, or some irrelevant imperial holding somewhere across the Pacific. And this conflict was seen as no different, which meant that many Americans weren't interested in getting involved. This worked well for America, and importantly, President Wilson, who was much more concerned with getting re-elected in late 1916. To do this, he needed the support of the German-American and Irish-American populations who supported the Central Powers. And he also needed the Protestants living across the eastern seaboard, which supported the Entente. And to win their votes, he promised that the US would never enter the war, but he also talked about how uncool Germany was being at that point. But as you'll know, six months after he won re-election, to war the US went. So why? Well, to start, public opinion had slowly shifted from who cares to not Germany over the past year. This was mostly down to Germany's long-term goals largely being will dominate Europe, and also because of Germany resuming unrestricted submarine warfare which could target American vessels, and also the Zimmermann telegram, in which the German em- What, what, how, what was the upside to this? I don't get it. I- did they know so little about the power imbalance between the Mex between Mexico and the U.S. even even at this time, even this far back in in nineteen when was when was the Zimmerman sent? I know the war started in nineteen fourteen, but whenever it was sent, I, I, the upside is maybe Mexico has a giant upset and and makes the U.S. preoccupied. I, and the and the giant. Did I say upside or down? That was the upside or the giant downside of bringing America into the war. Empire asked Mexico to invade the United States, which was something not well received by the American public. Now, history buffs amongst you will know that the American public wanting something does not mean that the American government is going to do it. And one of the most pressing reasons for Wilson to go to war was money. American business was making quite a lot of money from the war since exports to Britain, France and Italy had increased massively. Which is one of the reasons that unrestricted submarine warfare angered the US government so much. Less exports meant less taxes, and governments like taxes. Another monetary reason was loans. The US government had lent the Entente nations a lot of money. A lot. And conquered, defeated nations aren't exactly able to pay that money back, which helped tilt the American leadership into going to war. And another reason was that the American government simply didn't know what would happen if Germany won. Britain was Europe's greatest power at that point, and whilst the Americans didn't exactly love them, they understood them. Whereas Germany was the offspring of Prussia, and to them was an ambitious militaristic state which, if victorious, would inevitably clash with the US somewhere. 
And so to Wilson's government, dealing with Germany now would rid the oh, world. Yeah. Europe's I don't care. All right, I'm going back. I didn't understand that. The other reason was that the American government simply didn't know what would happen if Germany won. Britain was Europe's greatest power at that point, and whilst the Americans didn't exactly love them, they understood them. Whereas Germany was the offspring of Prussia, and to them was an ambitious militaristic state which, if victorious, would inevitably clash with the US somewhere. And so to Wilson's government, dealing with Germany now would rid the world of an autocratic threat in the future. And this view of America siding with the right nations was an extremely important one, since most Americans were equally as disgusted by the autocratic Russian Empire as they were by the German one. Well, good news, because they just dropped out to try their hands at the whole Civil War thing. And with Russia gone, this meant that for Americans, the war now had a right side and a wrong side, and there wasn't much time for America to join if the right side was going to win. So waiting to see how, uh, right when you see who's likely to win, join in. And with public so pressure growing, you can growing, have a seat at the uh, winner's table. Wilson went to Congress to ask that it make a declaration of war against Germany. And this declaration was voted for overwhelmingly, thereby bringing the United States into World War I and honestly ruining the Kaiser's day. I hope you enjoyed this episode and thank you for watching. Awesome. With a special thanks. Some of you don't like history matters. I love them because uh, I think a big, big part about learning learning history especially for me at least not the greatest learner is uh i like to learn the broad strokes first get me a little interested and not so overwhelmed and then go deeper and deeper more targeted and um you know precise little i'm wording this so terribly what is the word i'm not i'm not i'm not going on until i i'm thinking of the word i Maybe not. Just going deeper and deeper in detail. All right. So that's why I love History Matters. Gets you interested in the subject before diving deeper into it when looking at the little details first can overwhelm some people like myself. Awesome video as always. They deserve a million subs. They are 18K away. Alrighty. Am I going to make another video? I might do another one today. Eh. All right, see you guys next time.